Okay, so just a very, very quick uh, um, description of what the problem is I'm having. Um, so here's a little uh, sequence using uh, um, a program. This is actually Salt and Precinct 13 cut up into samples. Okay, so if I wanted to go into this sequence and maybe change uh, one of the, the drum effects, so I, I've got this sound. So I'm going to go into the parameters as soon as I move this, I get my little um, asterisk next to the uh, here. Um, that means that obviously it's a new um, program or it needs to be updated, it hasn't remembered it. Um, so I've changed the residence. I could change this. Whatever. Um, so I then realized, well, I've got to save it. Um, and so I save it, but it, it just brings up this um, uh, empty. So what I usually do is I go assault. Assault drums and it's zero zero three zero zero four done now it means that that one is saved um, if I now go back into my other sequences it has actually changed it up here I didn't realize it did that that's all cool however it does mean that in my tracks on this assault drum uh, I, I have all of these bloody drums, you know, and all it needed to do was change that one. So all I really want is when you've changed something, literally, if you, you know, you just do that. Well, that's actually changed it now. I go to save, just overwrite it. Bang, done. Doesn't mean that I have to type anything in. Uh, it's just a bit mad. Um, so that's the issue that I'm having. Um, now it's called empty, I think. Has it? Yeah, um, so that's the issue. Um, it's not um, huge, but it is quite a... Um, it, it sort of breaks your, your flow. Because when you go to save, you've got to type the thing back in again, and it's just crazy. Um, you just need to be able to ride it over. You know, maybe if you press something here and it overwrit it, or, or well, that wouldn't work. But even just a, a button here, or save, you know, save an update. No, make a copy. That's what you want to do. You don't want it to actually default to being made a copy. Um, empty copy. <laughs> ah, it's nuts. So it's a real workflow killer. Um, that's what I find anyway. And I know that other people have the same issue sort of um, and it doesn't really make much sense if you're you know literally if you change something just minimally you've changed the whole program um, because constantly I'm going in and I'm looking and I'm, and I'm, I'm editing the waveform or just changing bits and pieces and as soon as I do anything like this and I've changed something then I have to make a new copy of that program so all I want is just to update it and it flows through to all the other versions. Now I didn't realize that it actually did that, but it just seems counterintuitive because you get all of these uh, um, random, uh, you know, your whole history of all of your things. I guess that's a good idea to have a history of all of your, all of your stuff, but it just seems counterintuitive to me. Anyway, cheers, thanks for watching. Um, it's a great program, by the way. It's freaking amazing. I love it. Um, and uh, keep doing what you do because it's um, it's pretty bleeding awesome. Uh, so cheers. Bye.